main memory I, I have from growing up has to do with losing my memory. They have these big therapeutic balls that people do yoga on or even bigger than that. I was in junior high and for some reason uh, me and my friends were all running and jumping on those, like going off our stomachs. And I had the idea to uh, run and go off feet first. So I run and jump. The ball goes flying out from under me. I flip like 20 feet in the air, hit a tree branch and come right down on my head and the back of my neck. I was out and I had retrograde amnesia and didn't remember um, anything like from that entire summer. I had just gotten new shoes that day and I would look down and go, oh, sweet shoes, when did I get these? And my dad would be like, uh, you got those this morning, Ryan. And they said like every five minutes I would do that exact same thing. Um, I'm half Italian. My grandmother is from Italy, from Naples. And so family's a big deal with Italians and our bond has always been really strong. I actually had a chance to go and visit uh, my more of my Italian side. They live in uh, upstate New York. And I saw my great grandfather's house, my grandma's dad, uh, where she was raised. I saw where he lived and he was a bootlegger. I'm pretty sure he was involved in the mafia, which is awesome. He had a basement where he would store all the wine and like they'd run it in and out of there. It was like in the movies, uh, like Italian mafia bootlegging wine out of this guy's basement. My dad had open heart surgery when he was three. He had like a really bad heart condition um, and he had like a 20% chance of living. And so they did this really risky surgery on him. You know, it was like back in the 50s, medicine wasn't advanced obviously as it is today. So his odds of living weren't very good, but um, he made it and came through. And I think that really developed his character, like, uh, you know, never giving up and always trying your hardest. and no matter what life throws at you, just to always be a fighter. And so uh, I think I, hopefully I got a lot of that from him and uh, just really even adds more into you know, why he inspires me because of everything that, that he's been through and, and, and sacrificed uh, just for all his kids. And he's always been into photography and video his whole life. He's like being behind the camera, but he's always kind of had to sacrifice um, what he's loved to put us kids, you know, through, cool, through school or through college or whatever. So he's always just had a, you know, eight to five job that he's had to work. And so um, I really want to take advantage of the opportunity that I have because of all his hard work that he did throughout his life. And so I got into photography because he gave me an old 35 millimeter uh, Canon AE-1 camera. So I started playing around with that in college and I'm uh, just real attracted to it, um, seeing things from behind the viewfinder and you know, just moving around to make things look different that you don't normally see in photos. Just trying to have like a more unique perspective. And so my dad's definitely been my inspiration. You know, he didn't get to go to college and do the things he wanted to do. So um, I just try to think of that, that you know, I need to make him proud. And so every time, you know, I have a shoot or, you know, have an assignment. I just kind of always keep my dad in the back of my mind and kind of do everything for, for him to make him proud.